We are not alone, maybe. A group of British and American researchers said today, with the help of the powerful James Webb Space Telescope, they have discovered biosignatures which could indicate existence of extraterrestrial life on a planet about 124 light years away. For tonight's interview, we are joined by one of the lead scientists, Cambridge University astrophysicist Niku Madusadan. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, I can barely pronounce the word astrophysicist, so you see the trouble I'm in. What on the first question is how? What exactly did you detect? So we detected uh, hints of. Uh, at least one of two molecules, dimethyl sulfide and dimethyl disulfide, uh, which on Earth are both produced primarily uh, by life, microorganisms, and organic matter in general. And these molecules have also been predicted to be good biosignatures, indicators of life on planets beyond the solar system. So, so that's that's the evidence we found. And what? range of life form might this match up to? I mean, just some plankton or a full-grown animal of some sort? So so we don't know that, but on Earth, most of it uh, is, is from microorganisms, and that is what uh, we would be expecting if this uh, finding is indeed confirmed. Um, and if it is, as, if it is from life, then we're thinking mostly of microbial life, like uh, phytoplankton, uh, generally algae, um, in Earth's oceans. What would be the future stages of confirmation? When, when might you know more and feel more certain? So there are two uh, steps for that. One is we want to increase the robustness of the signal by looking at the, making the same observation multiple times to see that it is robust and increase the detection significance uh, of, of that, uh, these molecules. That's one thing. And that can happen on the order of one to two years. Uh, and with not so much, with not too much investment of JWST time. Um, on the other hand, we also want to do theoret more theoretical and experimental work in parallel to establish that there is absolutely no other um, uh, non-biological mechanism to the make these molecules on this planet, which is very different from Earth. Does this finding allow you to, to uh, the, the hunt, the future hunt for other similar kinds of findings, does it make that easier either on this planet or looking in other places out in space? Yeah, so that is what, why this is a major uh, discovery in that it is for the first time uh, we have demonstrated that we can actually detect biomarkers like this in planets around other stars. So as you said, Based on this discovery, you can build other observation programs to look at other planets to make similar kinds of discoveries. And it basically opens this whole field of quantitative and observational astrobiology. 20 seconds left. In your view, are we not alone? And is that, are you certain of that? We don't have data to back that up, but statistically speaking, I, I think there's got to be life out there just because there are so many planets out there. Um, from just from a statistical point of view. But we still have to prove that with actual observations. 